What if we were all foragers? If we were cooking with a little wild food every day? If we were acquainted with the land, in tune with the flavors of the seasons? If we thought of the forest as a larder and the beach as a beautiful pantry? If we were able to stroll through the wild and pluck things like we do off the supermarket shelves? If we knew how to track down the ramsons shooting in early spring? What if future generations knew how to harvest sustainably? How to unearth roots that taste like cinnamon? What if the landscape became the focus of the meal, capturing the unique flavor of that point in time? I remember the first time I went foraging. I'll never forget that sensation of suddenly realizing what I was surrounded by. I was like, oh shit, <laughs> I'm actually standing in the middle of all this food. Where can I walk now, I thought to myself, before carefully making my way back to the forest path through a field of wood soil. Wow, there are all these amazing, delicious things out there. At that time, I discovered a whole new way of interacting with a place, by eating it. As a chef, it helps you understand your surroundings more intimately. For us, it spurred inspiration. It vitalizes you even. It reveals a new direction. Ever since I've wondered, how do we teach our kids to read the landscape? And how do we make sure that their children have an edible landscape at all? And how do we make sure that the generation following our grandchildren takes pride in knowing the rhythms of the season, in passing on the understanding that the wild landscape is an endless bounty of flavors, something to take care of. Let's picture a world in which we all look beyond the lines separating the wild, the urban, and the rural. A world in which we all noticed, let's say the pineapple wheat, growing between the cracks in the sidewalk realize that the pretty flowers on the tree in our garden are so much more than that. That they're actually delicious. That we can infuse our oils and teas with cherry blossoms. That it doubles the beauty of that very tree. Most of all, let's imagine if we fully understood our inherent connection to nature. That the landscape is not just something we can interact with, should we choose to, but that it's actually something that we're supposed to engage with, in one way or another, every single day. What if we were all foragers? <laughs>